Joseph, when I'm on social media and I see all these videos showing senseless police brutality, I find myself trapped in anger over the abuse of power, yet I feel powerless. What can I do? I recently watched a really good movie called uh, The Fundamentals of Caring. And in it, it was a healthcare worker taking care of a young man with uh, muscular dystrophy, I think it was. And the greatest accomplishment that this kid wanted to experience was to be able to pee standing. He wanted to be able to just stand up and urinate on his own. Now, why would that be something so profound for someone in a wheelchair? The problem is that you get overwhelmed because you don't care. You don't have enough to care. There's too much childishness to care. So you'll feel helpless like a child. You'll have to block it out and separate like a child. And you'll forget in a week from now until the next person's killed by a cop or the next cop is killed by a non-cop. If you cared, there would be no overwhelmness, no overwhelming. You wouldn't be overwhelmed if you cared. Now, one of you showed me a post of a valid Victorian of your uh, school who felt that same helplessness. And I didn't see the responses personally, but from what I gathered, what I was told was the responses were basically, you know, gather to those near you right? and, and work with those near you. It sounded like really good sound advice, but the fact of the matter is it wasn't, if it was intended that way. What happens is when you're scared and you're worried and you're concerned and you turn to your inner circle, you do it as a child to feel safe and comforted. So now you go in and you're a child and a child really can't care for another. We have to teach children to care, to give them pets and things of that nature. So she'll go back to this inner circle of hers like a child, uh, have the child part of her taken care of, but still not understand how to care herself. And then the next time, once she feels full, once she's sucked enough from the titty and she feels full and ready to be out there, she'll watch again until the next time she's overwhelmed. Because you're not dealing with an adult emotionally. You're dealing with a child emotionally. Most of us are children emotionally. We don't know how to care. So when this young man in the movie stood up and peed, I'm supposed to say spoiler alert before that, right? <laughs> he was handling his own shit. He was handling his own waste. He was handling his own urination. He was handling his own bile. He was handling himself. He was taking care of it. Nobody was wiping his ass at that moment. He felt like a man. When we take care of our own crap, when we know we can manage our own crap, then we feel like adults. And it's in, from that state that you can actually now begin to care for someone else. You see, as a child, anybody's pain is overwhelming. Now, my advice to people who are truly being adults and want to make a difference in the world and show real caring is, well, can you feel the pain of the world? Not just of an isolated group that's suffering. Because that won't last. Because you may feel for the minority population that it seems the cops are focusing on that the harm is trickling and trickling in that direction and you may feel outraged for that group and then not bother or care less about the minority group in your region in this case you know na native canadians you give more concern for another country's minority group but you, you have no awareness or care for that immediately near you because you can't care because you don't care and as long as you're in a child mode you can't care but once you start handling your own shit 
Once you're able to handle your own urine, once you're able to handle your own bile, once you can stop running from your own shit and be with the shit that you can be and the shit that you are sometimes and the shit that needs to be cleared out. Because you first have to see the shit that you can be to get rid of the shit so then you can be more clear you. Because you are not the shit. But shit gets backed up, doesn't it? If it's not attended to. If you keep shitting in the toilet and you don't flush, and you keep shitting in the toilet and you don't flush, and if you keep shitting in the same toilet and you don't flush, that shit gets backed up. And if you leave it to the other person to flush, it may never happen. That's why the first thing you teach a child when they start shitting on their own is flush the fucking toilet. <laughs> you're teaching them how to be in life and you're teaching them how to care. Because you cannot care until you can first take care of your own shit. So then you can attend to the other shit people are creating in the world that's causing and costing lives. Because there's plenty of people that have too much shit and too much shit in the way and they're filled with racism and prejudice and all kinds of isms of the negative kind, of the deadly kind, of the destructive kind, let's call it. Because they don't know how to clear out their own shit. They go to the gym, so that clears up some physical shit. They may go and sit with a psychologist, psychiatrist, and now it can clear up some mental shit and it can overlap into the men emotional and the, and, the, and the mental a little, the physical a little bit. But, but what do you do to clear up some of this emotional shit you have that we're just beginning to learn about and focus upon? So it's this emotional backed up shit that's causing these issues that are clouding people. It's this crap that has a cop panic in a moment and shoot an, uh, someone there who doesn't even have a gun in their hand. And then you all feel helpless because you're not dealing with your own shit. That's the reason. You're helpless because you're not dealing with your own shit. Because if you confidently dealt with your crap, then that would have you beginning to at least understand the fundamentals of caring just the basic fundamentals of caring, start with handling your own crap. And once you're handling it, and you have a rhythm of clearing out this waste, your eyes stay clear, your sinuses stay clear, you don't smell all that shit. And you can actually see what is and what's going on. And you can even see the shit that they're in that's causing it. You can actually help, because you can actually see finally but we feel helpless, we retweet things, we repost things, we just spin in social media. It brings a, a degree of awareness that's necessary, but you are missing the fundamental action that can turn that awareness into a greater action. And that is, handle your shit. Be aware of your shit so that your shit doesn't get all over it. So what you do is wait till you're full of shit about something in particular, and then when that shit happens and it breaks out, you're like, I'm in it, shit's breaking out, I wanna be part of it. And so everybody's throwing shit all over the place for what obviously might be a worthy cause. You might even accomplish some shit. <laughs> but who's gonna clean up the shit when it's over? Who cleans up the streets after a riot? Eventually, you gotta go back and clean up your own shit, don't you? Now, if you came in from out of town to help them with their shit, and you brought your shit and threw it around with them in support of, and when, it, and when all the smoke settled, and you see all the shit everywhere, these people, you, you go back home. Fuck this shit, you go, I'm out of here. That's not my shit. <laughs> I did my part. I crapped where it was necessary. You don't even leave cleaning, taking your own shit with you. So the people that live there wind up having to clean up their own shit. And, and that makes them more aware. It starts grounding them. It starts having them understand this is a real fucking ongoing issue that doesn't seem to be ending here. And they start getting angrier and angrier, more and more pissed. And who's to blame them? 
Because again, nobody is handling their own shit. You have to start with the fundamentals of caring. You can't care with all this shit. You can't care if you're not managing your shit, if you're not processing your shit, if you're not feeling your shit. If you keep running to feel good, right? Because that was the advice to this honor student. Oh, come back to your tribe and we'll make you feel better. Come back to your pond of phlegm, as my old professor would say. Nice, warm pond of phlegm. You don't realize you're in because you woke up into it. And we'll make you feel better. So then you can go out and play again in, in, in your shit. And so as that's posted, I didn't get to look at the videos, but I saw them posted. I saw a short little clip of a happy child's a dirty child, and there was this child standing there fully with mud. Yeah, kids are really happy and shit. <laughs> you can just watch kids in a war zone, in a ghetto, and they find happiness and shit. It's the child in you that can handle the shit. But if you're not managing your shit, you're forcing yourself to remain a child. And you're going to have to find some happiness with the shit then. That means you have to remain a child. The fundamentals of caring, what will bring you to an adult state and allow you to actually care and give to another, starts with handling your own shit.